Gente, começando mais um novo vídeo de Fire Emblem apresentado por mim, Tropical Angel. Peço desde já que você deixe um like e aperte o botão de inscrição para mais detonado, mano. Golden Wildfire, the Golden Guardian. O cara falou, né, diferente do Zip passado. After Count Gloucester's surprising defection, the Empire's invasion of Leicester begins in earnest. The Alliance Roundtable unravels, and the region descends further into chaos. Yet the Alliance does not yield. Claude takes command and rallies his comrades, insisting that so long as they can withstand the Imperial onslaught on Regan territory, they will survive. And that's where things are. It's only a matter of time before the Imperial Army marches on Regan territory. Once again, Margrave Edmund is only offering financial support instead of troops. My apologies. I'll do all I can on the front lines in my adoptive father's stead. And on top of that, he sent his adorable daughter to risk her life on the battlefield. Unbelievable. I'm so sorry for the trouble. You have nothing to apologize for. The blame rests squarely on your father's shoulders. Mark my words, the next time I see him... I think we get the picture, Judith. Save that fire for the battlefield. We're finally free of Count Gloucester and his overbearing pompousness. You don't need to go filling his shoes. Isn't that exactly why you called me here? If I'm to fill his seat, I assume I also get his right to complain. Honestly, what's going on? The Alliance is facing an unprecedented crisis, and these great lords can't even show up to their own round table. House Ordelia has no ability to resist the Empire, given our location and lack of military power. Were my father to take his seat at the round table now, the Empire might interpret it as a show of defiance. I take it that means House Ordelia won't be contributing to the Alliance in any way. Two of the five great lords have effectively forfeited their seats. Why not fill Ordelia's chair with someone like Viscount Seward? Not happening. Can you imagine the fuss Albany and Burgundy would kick up when they learned we only asked Seward to participate? Those three houses have always been treated as equals. Besides, I doubt Viscount Burgundy could come even if we did invite him. House Burgundy's circumstances are much the same as House Ordelia's. In fact, their position may be even worse than ours. How are we supposed to stop the Empire like this? House Goneril was supposed to swoop in and save our skins, and even they couldn't bother to attend. <laughs> Leave it to my brother to eat some bad mushrooms just before an important meeting. Don't you make excuses for him. If Holst couldn't make it, then the Duke should have come himself. House Goneril has already pledged their full support. They're not the problem here. Then why waste our time with this conference? Our troops were provided by the Alliance's nobles. You know we can't act without a resolution from the Round Table, even if it is a mere formality. And anyway, the entire Alliance needs to be on the same page if we're going to coordinate our military strategy. Well, as I said, I'm afraid there's not much House Ordelia can do, even if we are informed. Be that as it may, we still have to get this done. Let's move on and discuss our strategy for the battles to come. This is it, folks. Right now, we need everyone focused on defending Deirdre. Here's the plan. When we fought the Empire at the Great Bridge, it looked like they had a number of mercenary groups working for them. And yet, I didn't see any sign of Gerald's company among them. It's not like that was the only battlefield, and there's no shortage of mercenary companies. That's true. And you don't have any inkling of when the Empire is going to launch their attack on Deirdre? No clue. 
They could strike tomorrow for all I know. Then I imagine there's no time to waste in formulating a plan and fortifying the city's defenses. Yep. If we lose the initiative, the battle's practically over. If that's the case, then why are all of you just idling the days away? The army can't act until Claude returns from those meetings. It's like no one can even sneeze around here without it turning into an endless debate. A king or emperor can make things happen with a wave of their hand. But I guess it's not so simple when you're leading an alliance. Ruling by consensus may work in peacetime, but it seems to have a distinct disadvantage during a war. Hey, Claude's calling for us. Sounds like the roundtable's finally over. We better get going. If we don't hurry, all the food will be gone. It's not a banquet, you know. It's a war council. But yeah, we should move. I'll be right there. Let's start with introductions, shall we? Allow me to present the head of House Daphnel, the Honorable... The name's Judith. I'm joining the War Council at the invitation of our Supreme Leader here. It is a pleasure to see you once more, Lady Judith. I am heartened to know that we will be fighting at your side. You're Gloucester's kid, right? You've grown into quite a handsome boy over the last few years. <laughs> I'm sure all the men here seem like little boys to someone like Judith. Ah, Duke Goneril's daughter. You've grown quite lovely yourself. You'll be outshining me in no time. Are you kidding? I've got a long way to go before I can compete with you. I don't really know what you two are talking about, but I think I'm ready for it to be over. Let's start the briefing. So, you want us to hamper the Imperial Army's advance in order to delay their arrival at Deirdre? That's right. And we'll use every bit of time we gain to tighten up our defenses around the capital in preparation. Then we have to avoid losing too many of our allies before the battle in Deirdre. Exactly. Hold them off as best you can, but the second you're in any real danger, I want you to fall back. It's easy enough to order retreat after retreat, but I don't see how that's supposed to win the day. Do you really think we can win like this? I wish I could tell you that victory is all but certain, but honestly, it could go either way. Ultimately, our goal is just to buy time until the defenses are ready. And if we can just stop them from taking Deirdre... Claude, I have to ask, are you keeping some kind of incredible top-secret plan from us? Sure, I may have something up my sleeve, but it won't amount to anything if we fail to protect Deirdre, I can promise you that. But if we succeed, then this plan of yours will get us out of our predicament? If that's the case... Yes, and there is still hope. You kids are all so young. Don't do anything rash and get yourselves killed, all right? All right. Let's reclaim all that time we wasted on the roundtable conferences. Watch each other's backs out there. I know we can do this. É, aqui é um de cada vez mesmo, né, fera? Got a minute? That's a tricky one. Hmm. Are you sure? One step anyway. Bom. Eu não sei qual é a história se ele tá. Se você tá jogando e tá assistindo esse vídeo, é porque você tá jogando essa história, né? E é o mesmo bate-papo das outras histórias. Well, well. Hello, you. 
Eu prefiro eu mesmo ser o próprio batalhão. Come back soon, all right? Esse aqui é bom Supplies are the lifeblood of any army. Mas eu não tenho recursos suficientes. Everything has its use. Bom, como no vídeo passado, eu não sei se você viu, eu forjei armas. Vamos ver o que é que eu forjo aqui, eu tô usando uma lança, mano. See you around. Como no vídeo passado eu acabei trocando de profissão. Né? Pode ser que eu troque aqui também se ela não tiver masterizada, se ela estiver masterizada. Which battle do you wish to reflect? I'll continue gathering records of your battles. Which battlefield are you headed to? Eu posso escolher vir direto para cá e pular isso aqui. Vou fazer 100%. Condição de vitória, derrotar os cavaleiros arm, armadurados. Condição de vitória, condição de derrota. Pegasus, cavaleiro de Pegasus sitiado. Aquele, né? Aquele centro ali. Muito bem, né? Muito bem. Vamos lá. Vamos checar aqui agora a profissão. Aqui. É, eu vou continuar como soldado ainda. Vamos lutar. Let's earn our keep. Eu não me ligo muito pra, pra o tempo não. Porque eu acho muito importante a experiência. Let the battle begin. come through for us even more than I expected how can I 
face my comrades after this. You know what they say about playing with fire. Side mission quest. Procurar nas fortificações. Bom, os itens para os itens perdidos de cidadãos. This place won't be a problem anymore. Imperial General Ladislava is here to fight. Yeah. This is very difficult. They are attacking the enemies of the Quadramari. Are you prepared? This man is appearing. I'm coming. Tô vendo navios. Cadê? Cadê? Nova, nova paralela. Cadê a mulher? Não, que não. Que brincadeira. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. I love having you around because it means I can slack off. <laughs> Just kidding. I must collect myself and concentrate.
beating you, bro. For you, I found strength. You're gonna. <laughs> Ah, não, tive esta vida bem aqui, cara. Miséria e queima, viu, cara? Muita miséria e queima eu tinha visto na vida, cara. Que que é bom? Olha a fada da boca que vou dar agora, velho. Yeah! <laughs> 
We seized it. Missão paralela concluída com o Aquele pontinho vermelho ali do mapa. Eu espero que isso não seja onde eu morri. Está vivo. Você sair do rio. Ah, 
Eu tive que fazer um atraso que acabou prejudicando o combate. Masterizei ele, ó, soldado. This will help me break. Not gonna forget this. Obrigado por assistir, fiquem com Deus e até o próximo vídeo.